Mike Dean has definitely earned his nickname, the Synth God. The way he's utilized analog gear in an era that is mainly dominated by digital software and emulations is nothing short of iconic. And it's the use of those synths that has helped mold the sound adopted by artists such as Travis Scott, The Weeknd, Kanye West and many more. In today's video, I'm going to show you that it is possible to recreate the sound of Mike Dean without having access to all of his crazy synths. We're going to make two beats. The first one will be created with the Moog One synth, which Mike has been seen using in his studio. But the second one will be made without the use of any synths, but with this. We need to create some kind of foundation, some sort of starting point, because Mike Dean, when he produces for artists, he doesn't actually start the beat. He just takes an idea and then adds his source on top of it. So that's what we're going to do. And to get to that point, we're going to be using the brand new Synth Palace 2.0 sound kit, which is just released today. Yeah, it basically gives you like the power of synths without even having one. Check it out right now. Link down below in the description. Let's fucking go, mate. I'm going to make some kind of like Travis Scott vibes. I want to keep this idea simple, so I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to leave some room for the goat, Mike Dean. We need a tempo. Let's go like 140. That's kind of cool. I really want to finesse this, though. I don't want to just keep it as it is. Mess with the key a little bit. And then maybe we could even bring this down five. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, this is the vibe. These phrases are just great starting points, I'm not gonna lie. Might add a nice little ambient layer as well, just to fill that space without actually adding anything. Yeah, hard. Bro, I could add these sounds all day. Like, <laughs> they're just so much fun to use. Bounce immediately is like way more hard. So, we need to add something on top of this. Obviously, this is a cool idea. There's not really much melody going on. Yeah. You guys are probably thinking this sounds nothing like a Travis Scott kind of melody. Bear with me. I got a plan. Chorus. I'm planning to just take what I've just rendered out, which is the whole melody, and put it into a fruity slicer channel, right? 200%. That gives it that kind of like Wonder Girl feel a lot of the time. You hear that? That's crazy, bro. Okay, here we go. Bit more chorus. Uh, I'm also going to use a plugin called Tape Mellow 5 from Arturia. Crazy plugin. I'm going to loop that first part. Okay, this is a great idea. That's our starting point right there. This is the kind of point I wanted to get to before we add the Mike Dean style melodies. Before we get to the melodies, hold hold your horses. We're not quite done yet. We're gonna add in some drum sounds to get a basic kind of beat going, a bit, a bit of a bounce, you know what I'm saying? I've got an idea for it. So we're gonna use the Seven Ink and Sky Essentials Volume 2. It's not even out yet, bro. This is some exclusive shit right now. <laughs> I want to make this as bouncy as possible. Oh, that bounce is disgusting. I might have to have that snare in the whole time. Oh yeah, no, forget that clap. And then we just need to come down five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Oh, wait, we could do something even crazy. We could do like something like this, bro. Hold up. <laughs> Holy shit. So I think we're ready now to finally jump on the Moog one and add in those crazy Mike Dean accents. Now, obviously, I understand that a lot of you guys watching don't have a Moog one. <laughs> Obviously, because it's a $10,000 synth, and that's okay, because I got you. 
The Ultimate Synth Sound Kit is finally getting a sequel. Brought by Jack and Ellis Loss present Synth Palace 2.0. More synths, more sounds. Experience the power of analog synthesizers right in your DAW. Mog 1, Yamaha CS80, Juno 6, Minimog, Jupiter 8, Korg Poly 6, Prophet 6, and many, many more. Inside the Synth Palace 2.0 bundle are one-shots, phrases, textures, melody layers and full samples. You're looking at over 3000 files that, when combined, will give you all the sounds you'll need to make insane beats. The best part? It's all royalty-free. Enjoy some of the craziest synths money can buy without any of the downsides. Get your copy of Synth Palace 2.0 today. If that's something you'd be interested in, then make sure you hit the link down below in the description and check out Synth Palace 2. Before we jump on the Moog 1, I'm just going to structure out this a little bit to give me some sections I need to record over. So what Mike Dean will typically do is he'll record, say, an intro, a bridge, and an outro. So we're going to just create those sections now with what we've got in our beat. Oh my god, I might have to do a madness on the drop here. Yeah. Uh. Up an octave? Yeah. So yeah, this will be our other section. Wait, we haven't done a kick. I've just realized. <laughs> Chorus, verse, and then this is going to be our bridge right here, right? Now we take out the kick in the 808. And this is where we're going to add in a bunch of those crazy Mike Dean accents. And here's the thing, right? We're going to do two beats in this video. I'm going to do one where we use the Moog 1, okay? This is going to be this one. The next one, I'm going to do exactly what I just did on the Moog 1 this time, but exclusively with Synth Palace 2, so I can prove to you guys that, yeah, I might have a $10,000 synth behind me, but if you've got Synth Palace 2, so do you. Let's get cracking. Let's get a bass. <laughs> That's gonna sound so sick. Holy shit. All right, cool. Let's try and record over a nice little bass idea. Then we're playing in C. We'll pitch it back up to D sharp when we're done, but I can't play D sharp. So yeah, allow me. That's it. That's literally it, surely. So far, so good. One element down, three to go. Let's get it. All right, let's keep adding, let's keep going. A nice lead sound now, I guess. Needs to have a nice glide on it to give it that realistic Mike Dean kind of sound. lead we've got the nice pad we've got the nice bass final thing i'm going to try and add is a little arpeggiator see what we can do Fire as fuck. Let's hop into beat number two. We're going to be making something similar to that, hopefully better, with exclusively sounds from Synth Palace 
two. Hit the link down below in the description. Check it out right now. Let's go. Let's explore some of the folders we didn't use in the first beat. We didn't use the melody layers and we didn't use the textures. I think I'm going to start with a one shot to be fair. Wow, that sounds insane. What the hell is that? These sounds are nuts. Oh, I like that. I think I prefer it like that, actually. That's cool. Then we can strum it as well if we like. Oh, I like that. Change the key. I like that. That's a nice start, you know. That's a nice start. See what leads we can add to this. Oh, perfect. You can see a lot of the sounds I'm using are actually from the Moog one. So I'm basically getting the best of both worlds with this kit. I'm getting the access to the crazy sounds, but not the headache of having to play them in or record them in. It's, they're just there. I have to just get rid of this thing. I'm joking. <laughs> oh my God, this is mad. really cool sound actually oh this bass sounds nice let's use melody layers i want to put an arp on this This could be cool. We've got a lot of stuff happening. Very easy to kind of get overwhelmed with stuff and just keep adding for the sake of adding. So I don't want to do that. Perfect in that little pocket there. Love that. It's a great little melody. I like this a lot. This is really, really good. So I plan to do basically the same thing I did in the last beat, which is just render everything out and just see if it sounds better with a little bit of a, you know, fruit slicer involvement. Normally, I'd probably just run it through pedals or something, but since we're not going to use those today, this is the next best thing. Okay, I'm not happy with the key, but I think the chop is nice. Mm. Let's bounce this real quick. Oh, there's like a little like texture in there. It sounds like a vocal. It sounds crazy. So let's go and add our drums back in and then we'll do the Mike Dean adjustments at the end. This is a great start though. This is a completely different vibe. I'm glad we, we've gone down this route. So I'm gonna go for like a more OZ drum bounce, I think. How much space there is on that like this is perfect yeah we're doing 808 now let's get it shall i just use this one again <laughs> this one's so good to be fair <laughs> ready <laughs> yo this is mad yeah i need some other little like textures i think just to really bring this thing together Oh my 
God, this is so good. That phrase there changed the whole game. All right, cool. Yeah, that's basically done, man. I mean, the Mike Dean section. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we need some melodic stuff. I think I'm just going to do some really big pad chords and then that's it. Something like that, I think, would be cool. So there you go, there you have it. Basically, if you listen to those two beats, you would not be able to tell which one was used with the real synth and which was used with the kit. And that's my point. That is the whole reason why Synth Palace was created, to give you guys access to these synths as if you had them right in front of you. Yeah, man, make sure you check out that kit. Link is down below in the description. Me and Ellis have been working so hard on this kit the last few months, and we think it's absolutely insane. And I think these two beats speak for themselves. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's been a pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.